we're back here with the cards. We got them all organized, as we were saying. So we got all of our stuff in colors by regular color and by um, special art form. So we got the greens, the blacks, the blues, colorless, red, multicolor, lands, and whites. So organize the way that we want to to make them scan a little bit faster. So put those to the side now. Now what we've got is we've got the phone app here. We've got the TCG player phone running on my phone, TCG player app. And we're gonna set up the little space down over here. So what I'm doing is I've got actually uh, a USB connection into my computer called Samsung DeX. And I can actually control my phone uh, through the computer. So you can see here, if I move the mouse, it's actually opening up the apps on my computer uh, right over here. I don't know why I chat there, but so I've already got TCG player open over here on my phone through DeX. So it's showing up on the computer. Then I got my computer, my phone set up over here with the camera. Um, okay, and then what you want to do is you want to have about a five to six inch height on your phone compared to the screen where you're going to be scanning. So let's actually just measure it. Let's see how well this height works. But this is actually about yeah, five and a half, six inches is how high this is off the table. And then you want to make sure you've got a nice white piece of paper at the bottom as a backdrop. You're going to be putting your cards here on the white backdrop to scan. And you want to try to avoid as many shadows as you can. There's a big shadow right there, which is kind of inconvenient. Uh, but you want to avoid as many shadows as you can, try to get it nice and white on the white center. And that's basically how you're going to set up your scanning software. It's so now in TCG player app itself. So you're going to go here into collection and go create a new list. So we're going to create a brand new list that we're going to be working on today. So we'll do this as an example list. Let's call this uh, Dominaria Remastered um, Computer. Doesn't really matter what you name it, just something that you can keep track of. So go ahead, create a new list in the TCG player app, go create. Okay, so now here's the list. Now you're gonna go out of scanner and then boom, now it's gonna start showing you the, the camera photo of what the actual phone app is gonna be seeing. So you can see it down there. Um, I like to put the screen up here because I don't like to see the camera too much. I wanna see the cards I'm scanning in at the bottom. And now this is why it's important that we organize the cards because it's a little bit easier as you're scanning through. So you always wanna make sure it's picking up the right set. There's always reprints of cards. So if we just start with the first card here, Deadwood Tree Folk from the Dominaria Remastered. We're gonna pop that into the scanner, move our hand, and then theoretically, there we go. So I picked up the first one. I can hear a little beep on my headset. I know that it came in. It scanned the first card, so you can see right here, Deadwood Tree Folk, but it says Retro Frame for Dominaria Remastered. That's actually incorrect. This is the Dominaria Remastered See, there's one option here for retro frame. There's another option here for the regular. This is a regular. And this is why it's so crucial to organize before, because as we go through these things quickly, you might just miss if that was a retro frame or not, but they're actually two different cards with two different numbers, right? So we want the regular one here, Deadwood Tree Folk, just the regular. And then we just literally just go through. So we just go in, it should be able to pick it up. Boom, picked it up. But you can see right there, Call of the Herd. It was picked up from a completely random set. That's why I like to be on the computer so I can quickly change it. This came in as Modern Masters. That's an old reprint from a different set. We got to change it to Dominaria Remastered and boom. So now they're both Dominaria Remastered looking good. But then you just keep going through. Squirrel Nest, again, picked up in the wrong set. And then you go Dominaria Remastered. This is the retro frame and the regular. These are all regular. So that's just how you can keep it in your mind when you're going through them quickly. It's like, okay, it's just the regular card. There's another one. These are all coming on the wrong set. This is one of the downfalls of using TCG player app to do this, which is honestly one of the reasons why I don't really like the TCG player app. There's other scanning apps that are out there um, that in my opinion are more accurate. Uh, so that one came in on the right one, crop rotation came in under the right set there, so that's great. Uh, there's other sets that are out there like Delver Lens, there's um, Gaming Castle or something like that, or Castle Stack or whatever. There's other, there's other softwares that can scan in your cards. Um, However, we use a system called Binder POS to track our, our card inventory. And unfortunately, TCG Player is the only one that allows the exports to come out and sync up into our inventory system. So that's why we have to use the TCG Player app. So anyways, I'm just gonna do a couple more here. Sometimes it won't pick them up right off in the first try. Sometimes you just gotta rearrange it until it goes in. Could be shadows, could just not like it. The ones that doesn't pick up and scan, I just set those aside. And then we'll get those ones after, so this one is not too happy with the pickup either. There we go, got that one. Spirit Guide, see, that came in Spirit Guide. This picked up as a retro frame. It's not a retro frame, it's a regular frame. 
put you back to there. Okay, so we've done a couple of scans over here. Now, the one that it didn't scan, I'll show you on the camera here. This is the one that it did not pick up so far. This is called Primal Boost. Okay, if you can see that there, Primal Boost by the same set, it's Dominary Remastered. Now to find them manually, if you can't find it in the scanner, what you can do is you can go add manually, and then you can search by card name. So this one here is called Primal Boost. Oh, spaces, Primal Boost. Okay, and then you can see the options here for the different Primal Boost prints. This is Dominaria Remastered. Boom, just got added into the list. So now we've got Primal Boost added into the list. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running through, scanning in all of the cards that we have that we organized from all the sets that we opened up, get it all into the set over here. Okay, and once you've completed that and everything looks good, they're all in the right set, everything looks like it's ready to go, we're going to go into the export section. So when you've got the list opened up right here, everything's already entered. You go here in these three little dots at the top right of the app. And there's a thing called right here, export to file. This is how we're going to integrate it into our inventory system online and digitize this information um, into our inventory. You go export to file. Okay. Uh, you can rename it down here at the bottom by default. It goes TCG player.csv. We're just going to rename this to something we can remember. Let's go Dominaria rem, um, I don't know, test one. Okay. Just so we can save that. And now we've exported it. Successfully, okay, so now it's been exported onto our list, so that's great. And now we're going to go to the next step, and I'm going to show you how we actually upload this into our inventory. Download, so this is my phone. These are my downloads on my phone right now that they're just loading up. Let's find the one in the download section that I had on my phone. We named this Dom something. Let's go ahead and search. Dominaria Rem Test 1. So let's copy that to the desktop just to show you. So there's Dominaria Test 1. That's the CSV we just downloaded from the app. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we use a system called uh, Binder POS. This is our back system that uh, catalogs all of our information on our card stocks and inventory levels and puts it onto our website and everything like that. So it's called Binder POS. On the left-hand side, there's a little section here called um, My Products. Okay, this is where you can search for all of your inventory manually and change stock levels. But at the top section here, it says Import CSV. So you're going to go up to import CSV, and then you can drop a file right here, click to select the file. So let's go ahead and find the file that we just downloaded from the phone. So I save that to the desktop right here, Dominary Rem Test 1, open that file. And you can see here, upload successful. Down here, here's the information for what we just added. There's 10 total rows, TCG app. It's, um, it's queued, the status is queued. That means it's just searching through it and it's, it's going through the thought process. If you reload the table, you can see, boom, complete, 10. So all of those have now been added to our online inventory and they're done. Now we can just put those cards away, sort them into our binder and we're finished. So that's, that's basically the upload process using TCG player app to get from a scanner to your phone, download the CSV and then upload it into our binder POS system for cataloging and inventory.